All right, everybody, welcome uh, to the webinar. I'm here. I got Alyssa. The, uh, she's the brains behind the operation. Uh, they just keep me around for my face. Somebody's got to be the face of the company. Yeah, that's how it works. Good face. Um, but let's get uh, let's get started here. We got about 60 seconds. Looks like everybody can hear us. Uh, good audio, good stream, video. Um, and uh, we can go from there. This is going to be a massive distraction for I know. me. Like, I'm just going to want to play around and chat all day. Should I, I, I want to see it, though. I feel like we should look at it until You're it becomes right a distraction. There. That'll be a massive distraction. All right, let's get started, everybody. Thanks for joining us on the webinar today. Uh, we are talking about uh, how to build a luxury experience for your clients. Um, and I, I think that's it's an important thing to talk about because if you want to be, you know, a top studio, and I, it's probably not just photography if we step back for a second. We're all entrepreneurs in one form or fashion. Everybody that's watching, uh, you've got your own business. There's things you want to do. You want to grow. You want to make more money. We all do. Uh, but I find in helping entrepreneurs, I find that the reason they can't make more money is because they can't, quite frankly, get out of their own damn way. Uh, and that's the reality, right? There's all these things that have to happen behind the scenes uh, the, taking the pictures is quite frankly the easiest part of what we do and then I let Alyssa do all the hard stuff uh, so I take the pretty pictures but uh, so let's kind of get started here I'm gonna share my screen bear with me as we uh, toggle back and forth but I think it'll be for make for a much better uh, presentation so that being said uh, we're excited to talk to you guys about creating a luxury experience with 17 hats it is the tool we use so we're not talking to you about something that we don't use uh, we're not talking to you about, you know, products that we barely use. Here's the thing. I say this, I say it all the time. And I was in a thread uh, online about something and everybody got all worked up about it. But if you're going to take business advice from anybody, anybody, take business advice from people who run a business. That doesn't mean you shouldn't, you know, uh, have, you know, inspiration out there. People who are great photographers and great uh, at posing and lighting and all these other things, man. But if you want to run a successful business, why would you want to listen to somebody who does two photo shoots a year or isn't really a full-time uh, business owner? I, I think it becomes hard to listen to ideas about marketing, uh, listen to ideas about you know, structure of your business because that's what we're going to talk about today. We have hot seniors, families, babies, not my favorite on the babies, but we still do it. Uh, <laughs> seniors, families, babies, weddings, engagements, still running through our studio. So everything we are telling you and showing you today God's honest truth, it's what we do in our real business with real clients. And I think that's important. Do with it that whatever you want. Uh, but let's get started. All right, so if you've never watched this before, you don't know who we are, uh, my name is Sal Sincata. This is Alyssa Zimmerman. And uh, we run and operate Salvatore Sincata Photography here in O'Fallon, Illinois. Uh, we're in the St. Louis metro area. We are not in some monster market, New York City, all these high-end clients. We're in corn country here. Uh, I mean, that is all that is. In God's country. God's country. There it is. Um, and so, you know, right, if you want to check out our work, it's salsincata.com. You see the link below. And a uh, couple of things. Obviously, it's my company. I am the main photographer, you know, creative director is how I like to think about what I do. But I do all the photo shoots. There are no other photographers involved. So all the families, babies, seniors, weddings, that's me 100%. Alyssa is my second shooter on the wedding, but within the studio, tell them what you do. I run all the operations behind the scenes and the sales room. So um, basically, we have an email that goes out, and you'll see it later, but it breaks down. This is Sal Sincata. This is what he does. This is Alyssa Zimmerman. This is what ah, she does. Well, hold on. I want to cut you off because I forgot about that. Because um, in that email, you basically say, I do nothing. Uh -huh. You do it all. So, exactly. um, But... Hold on. In the spirit of uh, the studio, you're handling everything back end. So when, when I say she's handling everything, from the minute uh, they schedule their initial consultation all the way through to the final album delivery, one person is handling it all. I'm, I'm not involved in that process. Um, but it's funny because there is an email that goes out because clients would start emailing me about like random shit. And I'm sure you guys out there face the same thing. So let us know if you do. They'll start emailing us about outfits that they're going to wear, sending us texts and selfies. If you send it to me, it's going into a black hole somewhere. I'm not dealing with it. So she has an email um, that goes out that basically tells the client, hey, 
congratulations, welcome to Salvatore Sincata Photography. It's an automated email that goes out. Here's our roles and responsibilities. If you have any questions about this, 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 contact Alyssa Zimmerman. If you have any questions about this, contact Sal and my It list. basically says um, Sal will be there on your wedding day to shoot your photos. That is that is 100% <laughs> true. So, uh, all right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's go with that. Okay. Uh, so the agenda, what do we want to cover today? Lots of information. So don't don't think we're going to tail off on information towards the end of the webinar. We, we are not. So stay through the whole way. We are going to show you our workflows and we're going to talk about the experience, like how to actually create an experience for your clients. You know, what kind of things and products and packaging should you offer them that creates that luxury experience? So I got all sorts of stuff here uh, that we'll talk about, like a little show and tell. Uh, to go through that, but it all matters. We'll talk about how to create that luxury experience. Where do you even start? Uh, using 17 hats to do that heavy lifting without automation in our business. There's no way just the two of us are running uh, this beast. Not possible. Do you do you agree? Absolutely agree. Uh, so how, like heavy lifting. How does 17 hats help you there? Or how does automation help you? Because that's the fear, right? Right. Keeping it personal. So 17 hats allows you to create templated emails using tokens that still make the emails personal so you don't have to remember what's to send a token an email. like a subway um, token no uh variable <laughs> yes. yeah so just a variable like we got to talk to the people at 17 hats like they, you can tell it's like programmers nerding yeah. out like this is a token what else would you call it though i don't know uh variable that's that's programmer language too yeah. but the point is you want to send out emails that you've written and still keep things personal right you don't want to be like uh, congratulations, ma'am, uh, or, you know, name. or sir, or in insert brackets. name. I get that one a lot, uh, but we'll show you that stuff. Uh, how to create a client journey through 17 hats. And if you don't even know what a client journey is, that's its own problem. We're going to talk about our and probably teach you some here, uh, as well. We'll show you how to create live. We'll do a demo of the system to show you how to create a hands-off quote contract invoice. Hey man, you send a quote to somebody, I want that money, pay me the money you owe me. Sign the contract, get the invoice out to them, collect your money, and it's a, 17 Hats has made this process simple. Um, we'll show you how our businesses, wedding and engagement workflows are set up, uh, our senior workflows, and then Q&A, we'll try and take it uh, through the entire uh, process. So I'm not gonna break for questions yet, but if you do have questions, use the chat, be smart about the chat. I've got my team here taking questions, but if you're just typing random shit in the chat, uh, we're gonna have trouble getting to your questions and then we'll just ban you for life, forever, from being in the chat. We can do that, right? Yeah. Or are we just making shit up? No, you can do it. All right, done. All right, so what is a luxury experience? Go for it. A uh, luxury experience is the way you make your clients feel. So you wanna be personable, still use automation, but be personable in your emails, in your, text messages, any communication you have with them. You wanna handhold them through the process. 99% of the clients coming through, this is their first time getting married. They've never done this before. Whereas you as the photographer, you've done this every weekend. So you know what you know, you know vendors to recommend, you know what to stay away from. Be that trusted advisor for them. Um, you want fast response times and fast turnaround times as well for your clients. I think the fast response times and turnaround times are probably the two of the two most important things you, you can do here, right? I cannot tell you how many weddings we've booked. My, my personal goal is to respond to every client email that comes in within two hours. And you might be sitting back on, oh my God, I gotta pick up the kids, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Like, yeah, you do. Um, but you also have to respond and that's where a system like this helps you have that big business feel even though you're a small mom and pop shop and turnaround times, this is something else like outsourcing and things like that. You've got to get your clients their images if you want to make money. I don't want to get into in-person sales, but that's also, I think, tied to this. Um, branding and packaging, I'm going to take that one. Logo on everything. Prints are branded, wrapped like a present, branded bags, make it feel like a luxury bag. I talk about this all the time. So when a client gets a package from us, it is 100% uh, branded. And that is our, uh, this is a metal tag. Um, so it's a metal tag and this is, uh, it's, it's custom ribbon, custom black packaging, comes in a custom bag with our uh, logo and brand on it, black tissue paper. So we're creating a luxury experience every step of the way. 
uh, with our clients. Thumb drives, things like this. Take this off. Uh, this is how they're getting any kind of digital assets, whether it's a slideshow, um, a slideshow or, um, or digital files, anything like that. That's how it's being delivered. Um, Not wedding files. It's a different one. Right. They're coming a different one, but they're getting it in a branded way. Everything is branded and consistent 100%. And so many of you just don't get it. It's work. It's effort. Uh, you've got to find a way to deliver on this. And then the little touches. Talk about that. So something that we offer that is really impactful on the actual wedding day is a bridal survival kit. This is amazing, by the way. So this is something that we give to the brides. Um, so see that. Yeah. That's just a five by seven photo print, I think printed at Walmart. Um, but that just slides right in. Um, Can you tag Rhonda's question? Because I'm going to want that in a second. This opens up. We put stuff in here. We put Kleenexes, uh, mini bottles of hairspray. My favorite thing that we just started adding are the wine wipes because any bride who likes to drink red wine at all during the day will have purple teeth throughout yeah, the day. Yeah, so this is one of those things where you're like, you clean <laughs> your teeth with it, uh, wine wipes. But uh, so Rhonda's got a great question. How do you create a luxury exp experience on a startup budget? So let, let's let talk about that, right, for a second. That's a great question. I love it because I think a lot of people see our business and our brand today and where it is and they think, oh, well, you're just lucky your South and Cotter, what I hear that all the time. This business started in my basement, and in my basement, we started offering this branded experience. This stuff is not expensive. Uh, it might look and feel expensive, which means we're winning because we're doing mm -hmm. our job, but it's not. Something like this, all in, what's our cost? Five dollars. Five bucks. You have to buy in bulk, that's the key. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Like, if you don't have five bucks, to give your clients an experience on their wedding, then you clearly are not charging enough because it's five bucks. Like that's a cup of coffee. So this way, it's an investment in your business and your brand because by giving them stuff like this, this is the stuff that they're going to tell their friends about. Refer when we deliver this. Tell them how we deliver this. I think that's important. So when we walk into the room where the bride's getting ready in the morning, um, that's the first thing we do. We walk in, give her a hug, hand her this. We say, "Here's a little survival kit for the day. Anything you might need. We've got." And explain what's in there: bobby pins, uh, wine wipes, everything. And every bridesmaid is like, "Oh my god, that's amazing!" The bride loves it, and that this is like held on to all day. They don't go anywhere without this. And every bridesmaid saw us do this. And they're all talking about it because guess what? No one else is doing something like this. It's a small little thing. What about handwritten note? Yeah, the handwritten note. So after every wedding, uh, Alyssa puts on my desk, I, right? The wedding's on Saturday, Sunday, and this is done for seniors. I'm sorry, I should rephrase. After every photo shoot, this is put on my desk. So if it's a black label client, this is going to be on my, on my desk. Uh, for me to sign. And I know you're not going to be able to read this, but I'm going to show you. It's a handwritten note uh, that we put there, and I'll read it to you. It says, thank you so much for choosing us to document your big day. Can't wait for you to see the pics, Sal and Alyssa. And so this is just a little touch of something that we're putting in their mailbox. Uh, if it's just a regular Salvatore Sincata client, they get that. And if it's one of our black label, which is our higher end, they're getting the black label logo and brand. Same with the bags. So these are the kind of things, bottle of wine is a gift when they sign contract. Nobody else is doing that. Yeah, now if you're on a budget, maybe the bottle of wine becomes a little bit uh, more expensive, but I'm telling you, this is what you have to aspire to. This is what you have to uh, create. Uh, are there any other uh, quick questions? Um, yeah. Quick, quick, quick. Um, where do you buy metal ribbon holders? Uh, the metal, uh, these, are, these metal tags come from a company called metalcards.com. And they're custom made. What else? And then they're wondering if they can get the list of those items after the webinar's over. What's in that little package? Yeah, we could probably oh, yeah. post a package. You know, the, make it. You know, we'll post a list, but make it yours, right? I mean, it's like Kleenex tissue, Altoids, dental floss. It's all little Chotskys, but it's all in five bucks, and it's and it's what makes it. So we'll get that posted. And I'll tell you a secret: you can get all this stuff on Amazon in bulk. You're like a. Shop, I'm serious. Amazon Prime is life. Like a sh fashionista shop. Shop, uh, <laughs> shoppy stuff, discounts. Shopaholic. Shopaholic, yeah, for hairspray. All right, so that's kind of what the packaging looks like all in. <laughs> for hairspray. For hairspray. Uh, all right, so let's jump to this, right? Creating a luxury experience, where do you even start? Um, go ahead. So 
you want to think about what brands you want to model your experience after. And something that Sal always does with people is ask them, what are some of your favorite brands? And what makes the experience you had with that brand so memorable to you? So let's pause there, right? Because I have a lot of people that we do one-on-one -on -one consulting with, and I'll be like, I'll start talking about Louis Vuitton, Mercedes Benz. And I, I mean, at least half the time I hear from people, well, I'm, I'm not, I'm not into luxury brands, so I'm not my own client. If that's you, uh, that becomes uh, a problem as well, right? <laughs> because how can you, how can you give a luxury experience if you can't even appreciate a luxury experience? So you have to learn to start appreciating these things and what better way than to take a trip to Louis Vuitton? I mean, why would you want to do that? I would, let's go now. Um, but you have to ask yourself what made those brands now, don't get confused by this. If I'm saying a luxury brand, maybe you're just not into luxury brands, but surely there is a brand that resonates with you. That could be anything from like, um, you know, Chuck sneakers, Nike. Nike, it can be a Lululemon, right? So, I mean, go, what brands do you identify with? All right. Jennifer wrote Tiffany's. I love Tiffany's. Mm -hmm. Um, but think about what you love about those brands and why those brands are resonating with you. If you step back and just, write jot down some notes or take a trip there and what did you like was it the smell was it the lighting was it the, the the sound all these things matter in creating a brand was it the way things feel in your hand um but that's that's the key uh and and that's how you have to to think about it right so take that uh approach now Hold on a second yeah so you said something about um is it the smell and there's um there's something about the Four Seasons and the spa there. You can go anywhere in the world and get a $20 massage, but there's something when the minute you walk into a Four Seasons spa, the way it smells, I mean, I crave that. To me, I'm like, that's the best massage I can get anywhere. So it's the same, exact same concept. Right. As you, little as a smell. Because you're paying, you're paying for an experience, mm -hmm. right? Um, and I see a quick question. Ron asked, can the system be higher volume? Uh, Ron, this is system is not about higher volume. This system is about making you uh, the most efficient studio possible. I mean, I don't, I don't want to get into Ron's specific business, um, but you know, if you're doing ten shoots, twenty shoots, thirty shoots, forty shoots, uh, how can you automate the process? And I think we're going to show you some stuff that we do that I remember back in the days before Seventeen Hats uh, were an absolute struggle. Uh, whether it was keeping track of sticky notes or trying to remember what customer got what email. Oh man, and Ron, real world scenario, dude. I would have clients showing up at the wrong location or I would be at the wrong location because we forgot to email the client where to meet us and stuff like that. That's all part of our workflow here. So we'll, we'll show you that, so hang tight, brother. Um, but create a vision board on Pinterest of things you like. So stationary, bags, logos, all things that inspire you because these are the things that are gonna shape your brand. So. Here's, here's what I want to show you. Let's switch here. So right here is a uh, Pinterest board that we used to look at ideas for our welcome kits, right? That we wanted to give our clients. By the way, I know I'm about to throw everybody under the bus here uh, or into a tizzy. Where's our welcome kit for Salvatore Sincata? Can somebody grab one? Mm -hmm. Can you run and get one? or have somebody bring it down. Hey, stay there. Uh, so I'm going to have someone on my team bring one down. I'm going to show you our welcome kit that was inspired by, you know, what you're seeing here, right? So this is how we do things uh, as well. So keep that in mind. And while we're waiting for that to come, I, I want to, I'm going to throw this out there because I'm, I'm assuming many of you don't know what the client journey even means. Uh, and so the client journey is their experience through your entire system. It's from initial contact through the final delivery uh, of a product. And that initial contact, that journey can start when they go to www.salsincata.com. What's that experience like all the way to booking and, um, and getting their final album, right? That's the kind of stuff you wanna start thinking about. Now, it's, it's not gonna do you any good to talk about that without showing you anything uh, and so I want to talk a little bit about the client journey because, of course, we are talking about the client experience. And so there's a lot of words here. Let me read it to you, and then I'm going to show you a graphic that kind of drives the point home on what that process and journey should look like. So for us, 
we created a flow chart of each step in the experience. What you're gonna do then is write out emails for each step in the process, a welcome email, a contract email, a quote email, scheduling their, their photo shoot email, scheduling them to come in to see their picture email. You have to do all this stuff ahead of time or uh, whether you have 10 clients or 1,000 clients, every time it's like reinventing the wheel or you're searching your email, I know what you do, copy and pasting uh, to get things back. Man, I don't wanna do that. I would rather this stuff just happen automatically uh, you know, as we're going through. So we'll, we'll show you that, but you have to map that out. So you're gonna map out every email and what goes with each step. Pause real quick. Yeah. So just to give you perspective, you've got, um, when he was saying a contract email, a quote email, you can't just send somebody a quote. You have, there's always words that have to go with it. So there are instructions on, you know, here's what to do with this quote. You can't just be like icon quote, click on it and expect your clients to know. So that's what he means by quote email, contract email, et cetera. All right. So I want to show you something. So this is our uh, client welcome packet. Uh, and it's a very nice, I know it's some of it's hard to see. I don't know on these cameras, uh, but it's linen paper and it's uh, embossed with our logo with a foil stamp. So it's, it's got a little bit of shine to it um, and it's not perfect, a perfect folder. So it's offset, giving it a little bit more of a modern feel. And then when you open it up uh, on one side is going to be their contract, a welcome letter. And then in here we have a welcome kit with all the vendors uh, that we recommend. So this comes to back to vendor relationships and all and those other sorts of things advisor. and being a trusted advisor. They trust you all right. So tell them who they should be working with. They trust your opinion. Real quick, with yeah. the vendors and the inserts that go in there, you, if you work closely with vendors in your area and have a good relationship where you could say, Hey, print some cards for me that if a bride books you, they get $50 off. Do that. That's, that's something huge to put in your package or your welcome kit. Exactly. Once you have this, this workflow kind of outlined, like you're seeing here, and I'm going to dive into one specifically, what you're going to end up doing is entering all your emails, contracts, quotes, questionnaires, and templates into 17 hats and then title them appropriately. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes we uh, see people make is they start creating a workflow, but they never in 17 hats, but they never took the time to do something like this to outline the customer journey. And that's where most people quit and give up on 17 hats. Exactly. Then they think 17 hats, oh, those guys are stupid. They don't know what they're doing. Um, and that's the mistake. It's on you, the mistake. All right, quick question. Do you give welcome kits to them in person upon booking or do you mail it to them? Great question. Uh, so if they sign contract right here, uh, well, actually, no matter what, we don't give it to them right here. And the reason for that is, is we have to make a copy of the contract for our own records. So we'll know, even if they sign contract in the studio, we'll mail it to them. If they sign it online, we will also uh, mail it to them. Good question. Uh, I like that vendor note uh, as a website designer. There are certain things I don't do and I'd love to be. OK, sorry. No question. Squirrel. Got sidetracked. Uh, I told you it was going to be a distraction. Yeah. Um, all right. So. Then you're gonna to wanna to test the new workflow. We're gonna show you how to create it. But again, the biggest mistake we see is uh, building a system that's patchwork at best. Invest the time up front to do it. It does not take that long. It is not that hard. And it's light bulbs go off all the time when people understand, oh, I gotta figure out what I wanna do first, then actually go do it. We're photographers. We like to just jump into new programs, start doing random shit. And then when it doesn't work, we say it sucks, but it really doesn't anyway. Um, the flowchart is a visual representation of your client journey. So this is what you'll use to start building your workflows. Most people, when they think of 17 hats and workflows, their brain is just like, I need to click on the workflow tab and start building. This is where you have to actually start. Yeah. So this is um, an engagement process and a wedding process. Everything from like the initial contact being made uh, to um, final delivery, their night of preview. So I just dug into one here to show you this workflow. So for the night of preview, the, um, the, the, the wedding's over. I don't know what happened. I, where did I go? I, 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 yeah, I time traveled, right? and, but now I'm back. So it's good. Um, so of course we're going to shoot their wedding and then we want to bring them in to see their, their, uh, pictures. So, um, the night of the preview. Okay. So there's another workflow post wedding. But the night of preview, there's a workflow that Alyssa has to follow, right? Mm -hmm. Talk, just talk through this high level because this isn't, there's no technical piece here. It's yeah. just what we want our client journey to be. 
So once they leave, um, I make sure to sit down and do all of this before I go home. Um, you want to send the order receipt via 17 hats that goes to your client. That's um, later, but that lists out everything that we still need from them to continue filling their package. Um, it'll have the album worksheet tied to it. Um, and it's a, a thank you as well. Then you want to upload all their images to a web gallery um, that comes in their package. Then you want to send the order thank you and expectations email via 17 hats as well. So the And we'll show you the expectations email because yeah. this is very important. Can I jump in? Yeah. How many times do your clients email you? Uh, is my album ready? Is my album ready? It's Are my like pictures ready? Yeah, it's been like three pictures. days or they finally, they finally selected their pictures. Or better yet, uh, my favorite time of year is when their family gets together on Thanksgiving and then December 3rd, they send us their pictures and then ask if they're going to have it by Christmas. And usually those are the clients that their wedding was like five years ago. Yeah, exactly. So you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, so they get an email with expectations. We're going to actually show you that. You're going to want to copy this because it's, I think it's pretty uh, powerful to drive them through it. How long to expect it to take, et cetera. And then of course, order products retouching. So this workflow that you're looking at right in front of you is all tied to tasks uh, and automation inside of 17 hats. So right, but hang on. So these aren't necessarily automated, which we'll talk about in a minute. Right. So the send order receipt and send the order thank you email, those are two pieces that actually have to be touched before they can go out. So this acts as my checklist. So Sherry, uh, you asked a great question. Did your flow chart go through many tests um, before it came to a flow that would work best? The answer is yes. Uh, and stay t stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to get all our workflows uh, and emails uh, as, as part of 17 Hat. So stay tuned um, because why reinvent the wheel? We're doing it. Tweak what we've already done and save yourself hours of time. All right, but let's keep going. So this is an example of uh, this is an expectations email. So what you're seeing right now uh, is an expectations email um, that we would send to a client. Now, I don't want you trying to uh, discern everything that's in there. The part I want to jump to is one, this is uh, semi-automated, so we don't just send this out, and I'll explain why, because different clients order different things, different amount of pages in their album, but it's in 17 hats, it comes from 17 hats, and we are prompted from 17 hats to ensure that we send this, and we never have to wonder if and when we did something. And so all it says is, you know, thank you for your continued love and support, we love your pictures. The part to jump through here is right in the middle, uh, where it says gift prints three to five weeks after images are uh, selected. Now, I can tell you from doing this for 12 years, we've never taken five weeks to deliver prints to somebody, but we want to make sure that if I'm traveling, we're in the middle of busy season, things like that. Digital negatives, what to expect. Initial album design and final album delivery. This has been, uh, towards Sherry's question, something that we have learned painfully over uh, t almost 12 years of doing this. Um, because now, uh, three to five, they come in on G December 1st, they pick their pictures. The album isn't even designed yet. So no, your album's not going to be in by Christmas. Um, and, and they see it's a 12 week process. So it's very important, uh, to, to do that. Um, this part is important. Yeah. And then this is also important. Any images requiring additional editing, including blemish removal could extend your time by two to four weeks, man. They got to go into retouching. So if you've got a bride who's like skinny my neck, skinny my arm, do this, do that. Yeah, that's great. We can do it. Uh, no, you need to make that all the way. Um, so a couple of questions coming up. Um, you are prompted. You're not prompted. It shows, Sherry, it shows up in your dashboard um, that there's tasks that need to be addressed. And we're going to show you those. So hang tight. I know everybody's excited about it. Um, but it doesn't send you an alert. It prompts you you there uh, in, the, in the system. In your dashboard. In the, in the dashboard. Now, the attached spreadsheet, some of our clients get a 30-page album, some get a 40-page album, some get a 50-page album. These are documents that are uploaded into 17 Hats so that you're just quickly clicking and attaching here. We'll show you that as well. Um, Jim, hang tight. We're not going to talk about retouching at the moment. Uh, we don't charge for retouching. Fuck, I just said I wasn't going to talk about it, and I started talking about don't it. Do it. Don't do it, no. Jim. I'm disengaging. <laughs> All right. So that's what it looks like when it goes to them. Now, you take it from here. Okay, so how to create a 17 hats workflow. First and most important thing is you cannot create a workflow without setting up your documents and emails first. I feel like we've said this seven different times, but- We're gonna show so you, important. so just hang tight. We're gonna show you this. Yeah, 
that's the most important piece. So um, step one is understanding what you want your client journey to look like. Step two, setting up all of your draft e or your template emails, documents, documents meaning contracts, quotes, questionnaires, etc. So once all your documents are saved as temp templates, you want to go to the workflows tab and click on templates. Do you want it to show them? Yeah, let's just okay. dive into it. Do we want to show them this? Mm, yeah, we can. Okay. So we're going to go in 17 hats here in one second. Um, yes, it's going to be recorded. Uh, LaDonna, the email can be as long as you want. You are 100% right. The clients are not going to read the email. I find that anything more than four words in an email, they don't read. Fair enough. Maybe five sometimes. <laughs> um, but the point is, it's in there and it's a CYA for you that it's there. And so trust me when I tell you. Um, it's better to put it there and it, then it's on them for not reading. So what you're looking at here is a templated email within the 17 at system. We're gonna show you this in a second. And you're seeing something that says project date, project start time, project location. These are the tokens that we're talking about that customize this email for you. When the client gets this, they don't see project date or project start time. They see an email that's been customized to them. So I wanna stop talking about it. Uh, and let's show you. So we're going to jump. I'm going to let Alyssa drive because this is her world. Uh, and she's in 17 hats. Take it away, champ. All right. So I created a dummy client for myself. So we're going to do the wedding one first. Yeah. Oh, no, we're just doing a, a test one. Sorry. So you want to first create your, um, your template email. So you go to new template. Email. We're just setting up a simple one for the sake of this. But remember, you would set up these templates before you start your workflows. Here, insert your token, first name. So that this you'll see will pull my name. There's that. And then let's assume you've now inserted 40 different emails, all of your quotes, all of your contracts. Now, once all of those are set, you want right, to go. Hold on, scroll through this. Guys, these are our emails and our templates that we use to run our business. Those are the ones that come in the template. So go ahead. So then you're going to come over here to the workflow tab, go to your templates, and add the plus sign. That's to create a new workflow. We're going to call this webinar test as well. Select the calendar, and then you can add notes, completely optional. We don't. So here you go. So now this is where you want to start adding your items. But to add practicality to this, right, because they're seeing webinar test and they might not be, it might not be resonating with them. Steve, this could welcome. be the, the, the welcome workflow, right? So new client welcome workflow is what we could have just created. And now when something happens, we want to send them a test email. Okay. Okay. So you want to add an action because I want to send an email. So my action is to send an email. You can send a questionnaire, quote, etc. But I just want to send that email that we just created. The template is going to be webinar test that we just created. Um, I want to send that automatically zero days after activating this workflow, which in it essentially means immediately assigned to me and no notes there. So there. In here, you can also add to-dos, like add client to uh, spreadsheet, and then zero days after the previous item is complete. So as soon as that email goes out, then you would want the task to prompt you or end up in your dashboard as soon as that email's gone out. So this would go to me as well. When you're done, you can prompt it to send, you, send an email. You can do nothing. You've got a ton of options here. I'm going to do nothing here. Okay, so now your your workflow is created. So we would want to assign this. So Russell and uh, I think it's Renata. I'm so sorry, it's so far away from me. Um, yes, you have to create your own workflow. We have a way you can actually buy our templates. Um, not the point of this webinar, but it's something you can do. So you can streamline this. Uh, I think it was a Jennifer or a Jill. Uh, that had written something where it's just too hard. Uh, I've always walked away from it. If you watch the beginning of this webinar, I told you exactly why it's hard. And when you do it right and you spend the, the short amount of time up front, the amount of hours it will save you and your busy studio is going to be mind boggling. You'll thank me later. I'm telling you. 
All right, so where are we at? Okay, so this is your client right now, but you always have to assign a project to a client in order to activate a workflow. So the project for this is gonna be webinar test again. So wedding, Smith wedding? Not yet, we'll be wedding okay. next. This is just to show a sample. Okay. Um, you can do tags, is that what you were talking about, a tag? No, just I want, this isn't practical application. Like, so what is a project in their world? Nobody knows um, what webinar test is. You could do uh, family Zimmerman. That's so, how we would do it. So a project is tied to right, a client. Right. So this, this project is, it would go on our shoots calendar. This is how it would be displayed on the calendar. So you would tie a date to it, the 19th at 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. This is where you would enter your location for the tokens to pull the location for the emails. So St. Louis. Create that here. Now you're inside of the project for this client. It, and I, so I want to pause here so yeah. everybody, because we just threw a lot of stuff at you. Projects are tied to a client. Correct. Templates are assigned to workflows. Correct. Workflows are assigned to clients. Assigned to projects. Assigned to projects, yeah. thank you. Does that make sense, everybody? I'm going to say it again. A client is assigned to a project, meaning I can have one client and I can have their wedding I can have a family. I can have a uh, baby session. Those right. are three different projects. You don't assign it. You create a project in your client. Right. Okay. And then um, templates are assigned to a workflow, the wedding workflow, the engagement workflow, the family workflow. And then the workflow is assigned to that project, meaning it's the Smith family shoot. Well, I don't want to assign the wedding workflow to them. I want to assign the family workflow to them. So the point is, once you define your workflows, it is simple. Like it could not be easier right. to do. So what's next? What do we want to take them to? So now that you're in the project, this is where you would create a new workflow. And this is where you pull your templates. So all your templates are showing up there now. Yep. Webinar test, the base date, this is pulling the project date that you just created and activate. So this, it should have already sent, I believe it did. I don't know why it doesn't show that, but we had it set up to auto send. Um, I'm not sure why it didn't, but we can just click send now. Uh, basically, it's just saying hello, contact first name. That's gonna pull my first name. Welcome to the webinar. And that's it. All right, hold on. So now the email's been sent. Hold on, there's so many questions. This is good. All right, yes, my templates include all the workflows and emails. It's in the, the marketplace, but don't go buy anything yet for crying out loud. I'm going to give you a code and it's going to be much cheaper. Um, a lot of people saying they think it's complicated. Can you tell me why? Like the initial setup might seem overwhelming, but I promise you, we do it on our own. So if we can do it, uh, anybody can do it, right? So it's, it's, uh, it's that you got it. It's just new. It's just different. Um, <laughs> Maybe if we show them yeah. a real one. You want to show them a real yeah. workflow? Yeah. Well, okay. Let's do the quote invoice contract one. Yes. So hang tight. I'm going to show you two more things. Um, I'm going to show you how to go from a quote to a contract to an invoice. And I hope you think this is also equally as simple. So this let's is, This is my favorite feature, honestly. Well, yeah, because that's how the money comes in. No, and it's it's easy. Yeah, okay. but that's how the money do comes I just in. Tab out? I want the money. Yeah. Okay. Tab out. Go to. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this project completely okay so we're gonna do, let's do wedding we'll go on the shoot apparently we're getting married may 17th in St. Louis. okay so i've created this project and now this is this yeah, perfect. Explain you, it to them. Okay, so after you've met with the bride and groom face to face, let's say they didn't book right then and there, they didn't sign their contract right then and there, they wanted to go home and talk about it some more, then they email you and say, "Okay, we're ready to book." Okay, so in here, I you'd would have to send, enter the client into Seventeen Ads, right, and create the project for them. Um, you would want to create a new quote and the template for this. So the template's already created for a quote. Yeah. 
Guys, think about how many times you are rewriting a quote or resending things. This is a perfect way to automate it and you can get some upselling on it too. So go exactly. ahead. So it's not just the quote that's templated, it's the contract invoice, a payment schedule. And all, so the non-refundable deposit, that's line item right there. They have to pay that. Then down here, they can choose which package they want. Then they can also add on an engagement session or a bridal session. For more money. Right. So they're making that decision. I'm not sitting here arm wrestling them. So that, this is, once you have this templated out, this is all you have to do. Then you hit save, send quote. That's it. And then obviously you can't. Oh, hold on, this is perfect. So now we're trying to send the quote. I can sit here, write copy, copy, paste, find all that stuff, or it's a template built right in with our templates. You actually get these emails. Bam, there it is. So it's dropped. Now this is a simple email, right? Because all we're doing is sending them a quote. Yep. We and can send it, we can send it later. Mm -hmm. It's got our pricing guide automatically attached. You're seeing where my mouse is. Our pricing guide is attached as part of this template. So they have all the prices and packages blown out. We can send it later or send now. And, okay, send it now. So while we wait for this, take questions. Yeah, you take some questions and I'll check email. Okay, so let's see. Any questions that you guys have, throw them in right now because I'm gonna scroll through until I find one. Yep, somebody said light bulb moment, client expectations, automated emails, great workflow. Yep. Okay. So, okay, so this is, you'll see on the screen, this is the email. Jewel, wait, Jules had a very important comment. She said, you're very pretty. Now, I'm Jules, about you. was she talking about me or mm -hmm. talking about you? I feel like she was talking about me, but I mean, I can't be sure. Focus. All right. Okay, so this is the email that your client would see. Um, hey guys, attached, you just saw that template. This is exactly how they see it. It's branded, and then that PDF is attached. So they click on review quote. So this is how they see the quote that we just saw. Hold on. Why is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to pick black label. So now this is allowing the client to pick add on items. Oh, real quick. With the add on items, you actually have the ability to choose that it's automatically selected. So it puts it in their mind. Oh, yeah, I guess I do need an engagement session. Okay. So I can see that price didn't carry through. That's on us. So accept. Next is view contract. And you can see up at the top right here, it's walking you through the three steps. How did you hear about studio, friend? You don't have to fill in any of those, any of those details. So but, it's required. Yes. Okay. Hang on. So a lot of people will be like, yeah, that's fine. Watch this. If you set a required field and try to go to it, it won't let you do it until you. And that. now the important place that the initials are being what I do I don't know why did this touch it um yeah it's signing again so on our contracts the most important piece right here is they're acknowledging that the deposit is non-refundable okay that has to be initialed or your credit card company will refund them if they challenge it. And so that's why we're doing it the, the way we're doing it. So add your initials. So these are required fields. Okay. Now I can sign it. Next, view invoice. So now they see their invoice. And here they have the ability to pay their invoice, um, print their invoice, uh, etc. Okay, now from here, this is something that every client has. It's the client portal. And this, they'll get an email, another templated email. You can just send that right to them. But this is what they see when they log into their client portal. Well, this is super cool now. Yeah. So slow, slow down. I got a couple of questions. Do we just have one person sign? The answer is yes. Uh, we just have a bride or groom uh, sign. If you want to have both sign, that's up to you. Um, so I'm, Uh, Arthur, we will get to that as soon as we go through our workflows. Yes, this is something that's new and it's freaking awesome. Yeah, now you can have multiple workflows per client uh, before per, per workflow per per, 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 work, project. per project. Right, right. 
So for a family session, you could have multiple workflows in there. Um, a wedding, you can now have the initial contract, an engagement workflow, a post-wedding workflow, all those things into one project. It's it's very, very powerful. Yeah, we used to have to make separate projects. Jennifer, I can't tell you how much it is now. Now you stay tuned. We can't have this all day. Sham wow. I feel like. I don't know what just happened. I don't know either, but hang on. All right. So this portal I love because now it's a self-service place for the client. So they can look at their documents, their contracts, event details, other information, right? All this stuff can be done and, in their portal. And you can set this up in a way um, in 17 Hats where uh, view client portal, you can allow the client to edit. So that would allow them to come in here to my information and they can fill in, if they change their address, they can update their address inside of their client portal. So you're always up to date on where they live. How many times have your clients bought something or post wedding, they move when they move in together? Uh, this becomes a nice way to give them the ability to document all that. So I'm hoping this part of it uh, may, makes sense. Uh, Travis, yes, I'm gonna show you some workflows uh, for seniors as well. So real quick, bear with us. Uh, I'm trying to stay on schedule. I'm doing a good job so far. That's not what I'm known for, staying on, on schedule. No. Um, so here's our wedding workflow. Hang tight. Don't try and copy it. You're not going to understand what anything is. Here's an engagement workflow, uh, a preview workflow, a senior workflow, right? And so what I want to do is um, from here actually show you those workflows. So let's jump right into the wedding one. Do you want to take any questions yet? Yeah, let me take some questions. Uh, is there a limit on the number of customers? No. Why did you choose 17 hats over another? So the question is, why did I choose 17 hats over another system? Uh, I've been doing this for 12 years. I have tried uh, a multitude of other systems. They're lacking. The support is not there. This is important. You know, you're, you guys are in chat right now, and Donovan and Amanda uh, are in that chat. They are plugged into what the company's doing. Does it mean the system is always perfect? Of course not. No system is ever perfect. But what I want to do is work with a company that is committed to the industry, committed to growing the business, and most importantly, just committed to listening to customers like me and you on what we need to run our business successfully. And I've, uh, I'm telling you, I've worked with a lot of systems. I'm sure there's a lot of good ones out there, but this is one we use, as you can see, uh, and it is worked for our business uh, 99%, you know, are there little things I'd like to see? Yeah, we all want purple buttons and, you know, you know, multicolored rainbows, but at the end of the day, this is gonna get it done for you. So I don't wanna talk too much about this. I wanna, I wanna start showing you some workflows. So let's show them a wedding workflow. Okay, so after you go, um, let me just get rid of this. So this is the client project for the wedding. Um, once go to Right. But once the um, deposit is paid, that's when we would create the wedding workflow. So now they are a client. Oh, you're going to bring in the workflow to here? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So can I take it from here? Yeah. All right. So this workflow is has been, this is something you're going to be able to get your hands on today for literally nothing compared to the time you need to spend. Um, this is our wedding workflow. So when they pay their deposit, now we go through our workflow of steps that have to happen to ensure, all the way down to look at the very thing, send an anniversary card. So it's gonna remind us one year later to send that anniversary card to us. That is service, guys. So look, the first thing when they sign, this is a task. So this is gonna show up in your dashboard, send a thank you card and wine, this goes to our black label clients only. So it's going to show up a task and list a complete that it gets crossed off. Let me see if I can zoom in here for you. Uh, so it's going to get crossed off there. So this becomes what the team and Alyssa are working through in that workflow. So some of the emails are completely automated and some are not as they should not be, right? We don't want everything automated. So they're sending shit out that makes no sense. So here's one that's automated. I want it to pop up. It will. Oh. So here it is. I don't have to touch this one at all. This is the one that says that Sal does nothing. Yeah, see, she wasn't lying. Alyssa will handle getting ready, blah, 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 blah. 
So I'll be there on your wedding day. So mm -hmm. I like that. I wish the whole business ran that way. That would be amazing. Um, but there's nothing to be done here, right? So this is pretty simple. Uh, you could insert a token here to say, you know, uh, Jennifer, welcome to Salvatore Sincata Photography. We just keep this very generic. That's our style, um, but they're easily tweaked. Okay. Now, post-wedding, I'm jumping way ahead here. This is what Arthur was asking about, if you can create workflows, multiple workflows. Yeah. You, the project. No, I'm showing the email. Yeah, Which one is it? This first. Oh, so start that? Yep. And then this is the one. Okay. Now this email, which is part of that workflow, this is the one that goes out after the wedding. Okay. After the wedding preview. After the wedding preview. Sorry. So now they've seen their pictures. They've ordered whatever they're going to order, their album. The entire timeline is listed here. But remember when I showed you that one, there was an attachment for a 30-page album. These are uh, the 30 pages, 40 pages, 50 pages. These documents are uploaded to 17 hats. So when this goes out to a client, this is not an automated email. This one pops up for Alyssa to make the adjustments and she will remove the 30 and 50 pages so that they get the correct album selection workflow. And so this becomes really important to your automation process. So you're sending the right information to the right people, okay? So I wanna go back and I wanna show them one other thing that popped up. Look at the very bottom here. How many of you wish you sent emails to get testimonials from your clients? This is part of our workflow. So that email goes out, it's an automatic email to ask them. We don't do it right after they saw their pictures, we give them a couple of weeks and then we ask for a testimonial. Uh, and so if I look at what this says, Hey guys, and again, these emails are all available in our templates. Uh, do not go to their store now and buy it. I'm gonna give you a code that discounts it for you, so for the love of God, wait. Um, hey guys, hope you had an amazing experience at our studio. We wanna provide you with top-notch customer service. Check out our testimonial page. Uh, if you have some time in the next few days, we'd love for you to draft a testimonial so that we can feature you on our website. This is how I get, if you go to salsincata.com slash testimonials, this is how I get all those testimonials. I'm not bribing them. I'm not making them up. Uh, and it helps us. It's social proof helping us win more business. Uh, and then, of course, the anniversary card. So each one of these steps from mailing the contract, scheduling the engagement session, sending in an email for their wedding timeline review, we have multiple timeline reviews for them about their wedding timeline. How many photographers out there wish they had more time for creatives? Um, on their wedding day. I don't have to wish for it. We're asking for it as part of our automated process. We send a thank you card after the wedding. This is a task that pops up for Alyssa. Yep. So look at what the note says. Have card ready on Sal's desk to sign the night of the wedding. Put the card in the mail the next day. This is an incredible workflow that can work, not just for you, but if you have multiple uh, people assisting in the studio, everybody knows where stuff is at any uh, point in time here. So this is powerful, powerful stuff uh, here. So take them to, all our workflows work this way, by the way. So they're very detailed. All the emails are there and included. Send a box of chocolate uh, for our black label clients. So we are all about the experience for our clients. And these can be completely uh, customized. But man, if you want a way to jumpstart um, and get into this, the right way so that you're not struggling you want to get your hands on our workflow they will plug into your system and everything will be there for you and you'll have saved hours of time doing it but I want to show them the senior one so stand by and then I'm going to give you uh, a code pretend I'm a senior but she's creating a new project for a new senior who called and booked we're going to shoot we add it to our shoots calendar because I have a special calendar where I look at all my shoots that are booked. This is where you want to be specific. Because we're meeting our seniors at a special place. And this way, you, you're not just saying meet us at Al's, it's pulling the actual address. Uh, 
This way you don't have to send another email being like, oh, and here's the address. Right, so again, completely uh, automated. Okay, so for seniors, we have um, girls and we have guys. So. so question is, can you add a project before you know the shoot date? Yes, because the date and time and location are all optional. So you can add that project and that's actually what we do. Um, hang on, let me show you that. So let's pretend that we have no date here. That you'd have to create, keep it blank and we send that before the quote contract invoice workflow because um, sometimes they choose not to book with us and I don't want them blocking something on our calendar if they haven't actually paid. So as soon as you tie a date and time to something, it adds it to our shoots calendar. And we would assume, oh, they've already paid. So right. they don't until they've actually paid in full, signed the model release. Um, so Charlene has a great question. Um, so far you've demonstrated how the workflow assists after the client is booked. Do you have a workflow to help you capture the lead? So this is a great question. Right now, 17 Hats is not truly set up for like drip campaigns or funnel management, things like that. It's not really uh, what it's meant for. Now, they do have the ability to take capture forms and embed them into your website. And when somebody says, I'm interested in a senior shoot, that could absolutely enter a workflow. I do not use it that way because here's what's gonna end up happening. All those leads are gonna start ending up in your system and I don't want them there. I feel like personally, it's my own neurotic thing, uh, but their system is built to handle that. Uh, I just don't want all that clutter in there. The people that are in my system, I want them to be paid clients. So that's just a personal preference. All right, last thing, I wanna show you senior workflow. So, we have guys and girls specific because we offer dresses to girls and we talk about clothes, uh, clothing types for guys and girls and you don't wanna mix the two. So open up the preview, this, um, the workflow. This is the workflow. Are you talking okay. about for the preview workflow? No, no, just the whole workflow. This is it. Okay. So for the senior, it's a lot different than uh, a wedding, right? There's not nearly as many moving parts. There's some emails that need to be sent. Uh, so check out this, uh, this email. So welcome to Salvatore Sincata Photography. We welcome them, their project date, start time. This is an important email, so pay attention. For your session, bring several outfits. We tell them what to bring. We tell them to make sure their nails are neat and painted, not chipping. How are you selling portraits to your clients when the kids show up and look like they've been chewing on their fingers for uh, four years? Um, we highly recommend using a makeup artist for your shoot. Um, we tell them how much it will be for hair and makeup. We talk about the weather. Hey, if it's raining, we're canceling your shoot. Hey, if it's 100 degrees out, we're canceling your shoot. This is our CYA email. This is there. So this is included as well. Check this out, though. The quote, this is new for us. So what we stopped doing was we would get all these inquiries about seniors and nobody would book. So now we send them the, well, an email about our studio and the quote in the same uh, email. Give me back. Right there. Right. Okay. So this becomes really, really important uh, in that. So now we send them a shoot reminder. I can't tell you how many times we have photo shoots and people for, oh, it was Tuesday. Think about it. You're dealing with busy moms. I totally forgot. Now we have a reminder email that goes out. The reminder email goes out three days before because if they did forget, that still gives them time to prep outfits. Exactly. You don't want to send them the morning of, then they don't have time to prep, get their hair done, nails done, makeup, uh, and then the workflow for the preview. Can we go so, into that? Yeah, Arthur, this is, uh, you can, you can. This create, is a workflow embedded in a workflow. Right. You can create an action to start another workflow and it'll, it'll still pull the, the, um, the date and time that you apply to that workflow as long as it's in chronological order inside of your whole original workflow. That probably doesn't make any sense. I would talk to Amanda at 17 Hats. She can explain it in real words. Real words. Yeah. All right. So here's the preview reminder. So we also, and again, you would get all of these uh, emails. I want to show them this because this Go is ahead. really cool. So this one is review. It doesn't auto send because how does you enter the date and time that you would like? It's two weeks out, so you would just. But it's that. still a completely templated email right. that you're going to touch. 
but it goes out, but show them what's in that email because I think it's important. You're gonna allow an hour and a half to review and order your pictures. This email's going out the night of their photo shoot. Right, so if they shoot on Monday, but they're not seeing, if they shoot on the first, but they're not seeing their pictures till the 14th, this email goes out on the first. That's how organized and automated this process has become for us. So we're never sending, oh shit, I totally forgot about that, that day. We all get busy. So if I have three or four photo shoots, three or four photo shoots or previews getting scheduled, but it's very important, this piece, please allow about an hour and a half to review and order your pictures. So there's never shock. What do you mean we have to order pictures today? Right. And this one I just updated this last night. This should have our the pricing tied to it automatically. Okay. Um, hang on. So I want to wrap. Right. Same so time. this is the cool part. So this task of update project date and time. So we the client and I could go back and forth in email five to seven times until we solidify a date and time. Once that's done, that's done manually. Once that's done, all you do, click this, and it automatically sends a preview confirmation. So that they don't have to dig in that thread of multiple date options until we finally got to a yes. This is a brand new email, short and sweet. That goes out for their preview automatically. Guys, this is how you run a scalable business. Um, general question uh, for the seniors, is this going to the mom and the senior? That's up to you, depends on how, usually it's going to the mom, the person paying. Uh, I'm always very hesitant when we're dealing with the senior directly. We always tell them to loop in the mother. That's the person paying. That's and if you if you got kids coming to you uh, and, and the moms aren't 100% on board when you hit them, the average senior in our studio uh, spends about $2,700 this year. So you're not getting an average $2,700 sale uh, from a senior. You're getting it from mom and dad with the money. Uh, I want it for the sake of time. Let's hit us some uh, questions. Um, Jennifer, I'm just going to let you know my thoughts on text. I have no idea what or why Donovan does what he does, but uh, you cannot run your business solely on text messages. Uh, you, you need that history. You need that email. Uh, it, it's it, as an add on. If Donovan wanted to say, you know, give you the ability to send it via text and send it, but I'm not sending PDFs and pricing and all that stuff via text, man, it's a shit show. So I would much rather, you know, keep the email history, but I get what you're saying. Cause I'm, I'm like you, if you text me, you have a better chance of getting a response from me. Uh, than an email, and that's the day and age we're moving to. Uh, so more than likely, at some point, I'm assuming there'll be an option to let you know create a workflow where it goes uh, both ways, text and email. And just for the record, I don't own 17 hats, but I just made up shit. So I think Donovan should do it. Donovan, Amanda, I know you're watching. Go out there and do it. Make some text go out for crying out loud. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I know I tried to be conscious of everyone's time uh, today. Uh, in doing this. I wanted to show you how we used it. I know it was a lightning show. Uh, it is not as hard as you want to convince yourself it is. What is harder, I have found, is to not be organized, make mistakes for your clients where you look like a mom and pop shop, it makes you look bad, and you lose money. You ultimately leave money on the table. This is a process that is tried and true for us. Uh, I'm not talking about we just started doing this six months. We have been doing this for years. This price you are not going to see it's not at trade shows. It's nowhere. If you're even debating it, you want to spend this $199. Um, it's going to give you one year of 17 hats plus Sal Sincata wedding, senior, and portrait templates. Um, use the code LUXURY. Um, great question, Arvin. I think we did not think through that. Uh, Donovan, Amanda, what can we do if somebody already has 17 hats and wants uh, to get our templates. I think we got to do something for them. Uh, can we do it? Can we do $99? Is that possible? I, I feel like you should stop. I should just stop talking. <laughs> but I feel like that feels right. It feels right. Don, free. no, Arvin, I did not say free. There was no hiccup. No free. Free doesn't work. Can't work Donovan for free. Says all, email. all right. So we're going to take, we're going to take uh, care of some of you guys, uh, for this. Uh, Donovan said 99 will work. Yes power of persuasion. We just incepted it. But Arvin tried to incept some shit too. He was like free and everybody was like, no, no, no free parking, no free templates. No. All right. My people, thank you for being on today. Uh, love you all. Great chit chat. I hope this helps. Listen to me, man. This is how we run our business every day. Uh, there's two of us doing it. Yeah, we have other employees, but they do not work for Salvatore Sincata Photography. It's me and Alyssa. And I'm telling you, if this works for the two of us, it's going to scale for your small business. 
and it will scale with you as you grow. But the time is upfront that you have to invest in it. It's not that much time. Jump start it with our templates and you will not regret it. All right, people. Love you guys. We will talk to you soon.